right, so we've had a lot of questions in the last 24 hours or so since we put the picture, the video up of Joey uh, <clears throat> checking apples for pressure and bricks content. So I'm going to explain a little what, what it is we're actually checking. So this is a Macintosh apple that we're harvesting. Um, these are actually a little early. Um, we're on a sandy site. Fruit, tree fruit ripeness is determined by not only what the weather is doing, you know, ambient temperature, but also what the soil temperatures are doing. Because this is a sandy site, these apples tend to, to ripen a little earlier than apples on our heavier clay sites. We're also about 10 miles further inland from the, from away from Lake Michigan than we normally would, which means this site warms up a little quicker in the spring. So on these Macintosh apples, the, the two things we're looking at or one of the things, first things we look at for size, okay? Two and a half inch apple is the minimum standard within our industry. We can pretty much tell just by feel what the size is, but otherwise we have metal ring gauges. We'll check fruit for size. Once we determine we've hit good size, we'll start checking pressure. Now there isn't pressure in this apple like you would think of in an air compressor. This apple isn't gonna explode if I, if I cut the skin. It's more how firm is the fruit inside? How firm is the flesh? So we check pressure. Um, 14, 15 pounds is about optimum pressure when it gets into your refrigerator. At 14 pounds, you'll get a couple weeks of good shelf life inside your refrigerator, and you'll still have that nice crisp snap when you bite into it, but the apple won't be uncomfortably hard to eat. So once we check pressure and make sure pressure is correct, then we start looking at starch content, or sugar content, which we call bricks, B-R-I-X. And bricks is a measure of how sweet the fruit is. You know, an apple that's a 12 on the bricks is gonna be very tart, whereas a Honeycrisp is gonna come in close to 20. That's a very sweet apple. So we, these Macintosh need to be about 13 bricks, 14 bricks, uh, before we could get them. They're gonna go for apple sauce, and most sauce is a little bit tart. So that's the next thing we check. Um, as far as the coloring goes, that's the last thing we look at. This apple is, is probably about 60% red when you look at it. The reason that it's green is number one, this is the inside of the tree. Um, in order for apples to color, they need bright sunshine and relatively cool temperatures. That's what converts starch into sugar, makes the apple sweet, and what gives them that nice red color. These apples were 90% red a week ago, and then we got four days in a row of 85, 90 degree temperatures, and it literally sucks the color right out of them because the fruit starts to grow. It uses that starch as energy rather than converting it into sugar for sweetness. So, you know, we're losing some color, but the fruit's time to, it's time to harvest. So there we are. So hopefully that answers your questions about uh, how we check apples before we harvest, and uh, we'll show you more about harvesting later on. Thanks.